rumbler, and it does just that. It creates a wall of sound designed to grab the attention of motorists. Used by 150 police departments across the country, this new addition to police cruisers has become a necessity in a loud music, MP3-loving, acoustically sealed world. Everybody's got a CD player and a very amped up uh, audio system in the car. They're on a cell phone. The air conditioning is going. They're not paying attention. Close the door of most cars today, and the noises from the outside world disappear. Turn on the radio, add a little music to the mix, and sometimes drivers just don't hear emergency vehicles approaching. Well, we were receiving uh, complaints from our offices and observations that people weren't getting out of the way of our vehicles uh, when they were responding to emergency. The new gadget sends a low-frequency sound wave. Wow, you can definitely feel that vibration just penetrating through the vehicle. The rumbler can be felt up to 200 feet away and uses surprisingly simple technology. Basically, this is a subwoofer speaker, very similar to something they would use in your home theater system in your home. Police admit they hear the occasional complaint. We have had some citizens say they didn't like it, but I mean, we have to be able to uh, adapt to changing technologies both within law enforcement and in the environment in which we operate in. So noise and all, don't be surprised if you feel this latest tool in the war on crime in your car soon. In Boston, Molly Line, Fox News. Joining us today, the fatal accident involving Metro Officer James Manor brought a lot of attention to emergency vehicles and their use of lights and sirens. Yeah, different departments have their own protocol when it comes to using their lights and sirens. But as News 3's Maria Silva shows us, American Medical Response is paving the way here in Southern Nevada as the first to use a new safety feature, making sure other drivers see, hear, and feel them coming. Yield to the right. That's what we're supposed to do when emergency vehicles approach with lights and sirens. But some drivers don't always obey. The most common hurdle that we see is distractions inside the vehicle, whether it be a cell phone, whether it be a car stereo. Now with a flip of a switch, crews with AMR activate the rumbler. The product itself is simply um, a very high power subwoofer. Not only is there a difference in the audible sound of the siren itself, but in addition to that, there is a, there's a vibration that um, is emitted in front of the vehicle itself. AMR currently has six vehicles equipped with the rumbler system. The goal is to add another 12 by the end of the year. You're code for where you're at. Operations manager Chad Henry proud to say AMR is the first in Las Vegas to use the technology. And because AMR crews respond to an average of 400 calls a day, the rumbler has become a much needed safety tool. But you've been able to use it. Do you notice the difference when you're going to your response to the call? There is a significant difference. We've seen a dramatic reduction in the obstacles and the safety concerns that our crews face when they clear an intersection. Maria Silva, News 4. Tulsa, Oklahoma police are among a growing number of departments using a powerful new siren. It can be heard and felt. He's paying attention. Were you startled at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> manufacturer says the rumbler represents a new type of emergency signal. I like it. I've uh, used, it a couple, used it this morning, used it yesterday, and um, uh, in one or two cases it was obvious that the, the, uh, the rumbler was what brought the, the attention to the driver. Do you notice anything different about that siren? Yes, ma'am. It's, a, it's a deeper tone than uh, the normal one. The rumbler is designed for the era of the distracted driver. A little vibration in the in the seats in the car. I mean, not a big difference, but enough to know that they're back there. At least 40 police agencies have adopted the rumbler so far, and more are testing it. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.